What's up guys, welcome back to another video of me, Super 7 and today my friends, I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of Liberty Falls. So first things first, when you spawn in, you will be able to see that the Rampage Inducer is here at spawn. This is going to make the zombies go faster, so there it is. If we jump down off of the roof, we will now be able to see that there is a trap here. This is the Dark Aether Field Generator, and there is also a Gobble Gun Machine just across from here, and there is also a wall by At spawn, there is also a location for the box in the corner here next to the gas pumps and also if we go over to this truck which is like damaged we can find an ammo cache interestingly enough there is also another wall by here where you can buy the gs45 inside of the riverside there is a mystery box location you can hit this obviously to get yourself some of your favorite weapons also alongside here we have ollie's comics where we are next to an arsenal machine and also an ammo crate and inside of ollie's comics we have the Etherella trap which is really cool by the way laser eyes and also we have a quick revive inside of here as well we can get ourselves level 2 armor for 4,000 points if we come out of Ollie's comics we can go into backstreet parking where we can actually find a crafting table where you can craft all sorts of score streaks. Alongside here, we also have the MP5 or the C9, shall I call it now? And if we head back into spawn near the Motel Lodge, we're gonna now take the left hand side. So again, we have another crafting table, so we can go ahead and craft again. As we enter into this bowling alley, we can see that there is another ammo cache here. And also inside of this bowling alley, we have stamina up which is another awesome perk. We also have another wall buy, and that is the Marine SP. Also, if you shoot the pool cues or the pool balls, you'll get 100 points from doing that. Interesting. Now, if we head outside of here, we will be able to find that there is an ammo cache next to this bus, and that there is also a wall buy opposite this on this funeral care burial service, and that is Tanto.22. We also have, across from here, a gobble gun machine, and we also have another level 2 armor vest. So we're going to go into the Liberty Falls bank, where we are going to have a vault, and there is also a wall buy around here, and you can also find the Juggernaut machine. Once we go out of the bank, we're going to be able to find Speed Cola on Washington Avenue, and on this same place across from here, you're going to see that there's a gobble gun machine, and there's also an ammo cache hidden in this corner. If we go up these stairs, we can now find another crafting table. And if we go around from here, we're going to see that there is a, another wall by. And this is on Hill Street, and it's the AK-74. Also on Hill Street, we have another Dark Aether generator, which again electrocutes the floor. If we head up Hill Street, we're now going to be able to go into a couple of directions. The way we're going to go into the cemetery where we can find a, a box location and we can also find that there is a zip line which is going to take us to another area. We also have this weird cloud looking thing and we also have another XM4 wall by over here or XMG. There is an ammo crate and there is also a tier 3 armor wall by. As we exit the cemetery and go into the church, we now have the Pack-A-Punch machine and we also have a weapons cache or ammo cache over here in the corner. If we come out of here, we can now get the perk Ma Melee Macchiato, which is going to improve our melee. We can also come outside of the church and there is an ammo crate just here next to the road close sign. And across from here inside of the parking lot, we have the arsenal where we can upgrade our weapons rarity and also we can apply ammo mods. Alongside here, we also have another gobble gun machine which we can go and get also on hill street something i didn't mention before but i think is very important there is also a box location just sitting here now if we go back to the hilltop we can go down these stairs and we're going to be greeted by phd flopper if you want to flop get pdhd so if we go inside of the motel lodge there is a weird room that only opens once you get the zombies to influx out of it and when we go in here the jet gun is just sitting on this table i take it this is going to be a point of interest somewhere maybe we can pick up the jet gun or maybe we can 
go ahead and craft it, I don't know. Also, once you have the power on, you can now access this area, which goes into the bank. It's a bit of a shortcut. And by turn on power, I mean open up the Packer Punch machine. There's also a music Easter egg on this map, and you can go ahead and get these earphones in Washington Avenue. There is another set of earphones sitting on this bench inside of the Dark Ether Church. There is another set of earphones. Once you've got that, you will also be able to play some music. Also, once you do a small Easter egg on the map, you will be able to access a vault which will give you loot and you can use the keys that you collect in the game. One of the locations for a number is inside of the comic book area, Ollie's Comics. Another location for this combination is here inside of the bank. We've got another note on top of this table. And the final note location, you have to shoot some beer bottles off and you'll see that it is here inside of Fuller's Liberty Lanes. There is a zip line that you can take that takes you to the rooftop of the bank. On this rooftop, you have a series of different zip lines that can take you to different parts of the map. Alongside this, you have the arsenal machine so you can put your rarity up on your weapons and you also have a weapon cache along with a crafting station for the LTG device. It's also good to note that upon completion of round 24 and progressing onto round 25, you will now be able to get the Wonder Fizz on top of the bank and you'll be able to buy every single perk in the game. So for anybody wondering how you get the Wonder Fizz on Liberty Falls, it requires you to get round 25. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much everything I wanted to do for this tour. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Just to give people a chance to look at Liberty Falls, I do understand that it's probably not the best map on the game. Some people are enjoying it for weapon grinding. It definitely does have its quirks, and in that sense, that is what it is about. Anyways, guys, that has been my tour on Liberty falls i hope you guys did enjoy make sure to smash like comment and subscribe and go and check out some of my other videos on my channel anyways guys i wish you seven you've been absolutely awesome and i shall see you guys in my next video